Hello, everybody. Hi, everyone. <laughs> We're so glad you joined us today. And today is Kathy Light's birthday. Ooh, happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday. <laughs> we are on a mission trip to Lynch. And she came all the way here, even yeah. though it's her birthday, and didn't tell anyone. No. We just kind of, a little bird told us. That's right. And we're going to have a party later. <laughs> right. But you know what? I just wanted to, she's got a, a wonderful testimony, mm. and we just want to be able to share today. So the name of our devotion is called A Step Ahead. A Step Ahead. A Step mm -hmm. Ahead. So this is what a step ahead means. You know, you've used it. I'm, I'm a step ahead. Oh, yeah. It's to be better prepared than someone or something. Oh, wow. Hmm. So what she's saying is this. That she's already got it before you get there. <laughs> and that's the truth about Kathy. We want to talk yes. about her. She serves, and it is her passion to mm -hmm. serve. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, I have watched her carry food and oh, be limping gosh. at the same time. Yes. But, I mean, she does it all. She's not so. like, she never says, I need your help. I no, need some help no. up in here. No, she just... <laughs> She just goes on with it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and she's really, she's really careful and attentive to. Oh, I mean, the, she knows what you like. Yes. Oh, yeah. I can attest to that personally. She knows I love <laughs> her banana bread and her pumpkin bread. So every year, it never <laughs> fails. She always has it for me. Homemade. It's delicious. She also has like she gets it like our snacks for us a lot. So she has like little. I love these little. Uh, peanut butter chocolate things and she brought them I mean peanut butter pretzel things and she even brought them on this trip and I mean they're just it's just I love that and it just makes you feel special I and know she's a special way and to she's, do that. she's rounding up some stuff Jasmine I'm just gonna yeah. let the cat out of the bag she's <laughs> rounding up some stuff to make some banana bread for us oh, <laughs> but yes. we want to we go into where is the story behind this because she is passionate about it I'm not mm. talking about oh, once no. a month once no. a week it's every oh, it's day life. it's yes. every day and we're gonna get into that so when she grew up, Kathy, you were a daddy's girl. Yes. Mm. Look, she was his <laughs> princess to Cinderella. She was his princess, but she went from princess to, to Cinderella. Cinderella. <laughs> but now, before we get into that, um, one day your mama wanted you to clean something or do mm -hmm. something, and, and what'd your daddy say? Talk really loud. Oh well, he he said, "Oh, she can't do anything today. She's had a hard day at school, so she doesn't <laughs> have to work at all." Is that a daddy's girl or yes. what? Yes. <laughs> and you know what? Until one day, now did you, you got out of a lot of things? You said when you were at school, uh, when you were when they were assigned to do gymnastics, she had some allergies, but she got out of stuff. Like she <laughs> said, oh, oh I, I don't. From the time I was thirteen years old, I didn't have to cut grass because I was really? allergic to the cut grass. <laughs> Did it work so, for your advantage? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't have to cut that grass. But it was a big yard, too. <laughs> and even, nice. in, even in school, she, uh, she ended up doing, instead of gymnastics. Oh, I, I belonged to a gymnastics club when I was in high school. Okay. However, I didn't do one flip, one jump, anything like that. <laughs> but what I did was when we had dances or when we had programs and stuff like that, I did all the background work, and so then they oh, gave me wow. a patch. I have a gymnastics patch on. she did the decorating guys wow. as a kid <laughs> and so god was preparing her for oh, what she's goodness. doing yes. today and she's come how many hours like eight hours mm -hmm. to cook mm -hmm. for us seven eight just, hours to yeah, cook for us our meals. Um, <laughs> but now remember she was pampered she's the oldest and her daddy just i mean he didn't he didn't want her of course to get her knee skint or get uh, you know oh so spoiled so spoiled, so spoiled. <laughs> And so entitled, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Were you enjoying that? Yes, I did. I did. Now, but something happened. Your mama. My mom. She fell into a hole, and you said it was about a 10 about feet. About a 10 foot hole. It was where we were putting in a basement, and it was like, you know, where the stairwell was supposed to go. Oh, and wow. And she stepped back there, it. and she fell. She oh. stepped back. She was covering up with paper so it wouldn't get wet. And she ste stepped back and fell in. And she landed, luckily, she landed in the pea gravel that we had to put underneath cement. And so she, uh, oh yeah, the day before, I had been watching a movie. It was a Lassie show, Aww. you know. And this lady fell into the, this well and broke her neck. And all I could see was when my mom fell, that she had fallen too and she had broken her neck. Oh, and I wow. was, I was hysterical. I thought mama was going to die. Mm -hmm. It was Screaming, I and I. The thing is, I I would scream it so loud. There was a man that lived four houses down from me, that he had one leg shorter than the other one, 
And then there was another man that lived down the hill in three houses, and he had the same thing. And those men come running, and they didn't know where they were running to, but they ran to the screaming, you know. Wow, and I mean, wow. they got there forever. It was oh, because you know. thought from that dream your mom was. was oh yeah, she was to die. Okay. Well, she broke her back, and within oh. a quarter of an inch of uh, being paralyzed. Now, okay, keep in mind, Kathy didn't really have to do a lot. Because her dad right. got her out of it. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. now, but now this is how she, she felt like she was the princess. Mm. But then she went from princess <laughs> to Cinderella. She felt like it because yeah. she oh, was I serving. Did. I felt like it. And wow. it was in a day where where the town took care of people. I mean, the, it oh, took a village, it, it right? Was, it people was pulled so together. Awesome. Yeah, I had uh, a little brother and sister who were nine months old, and I had a sister who was eighteen months old. So, or twenty-four months. I'm sorry. And so, you know, Daddy would come home from work. He'd get me up, get me ready for school, to send me off to school. He'd feed the kids. He put, he'd play for a while with them. Then he'd put them down for a nap in the morning. When they woke up, Mom had a phone next to her bed. But usually, the neighbors, each neighbor, we had three neighbors, would come in, take a kid, take them home, give them a bath, Isn't that play so with them. Wow. Thing, wow! Until I got home from school. Or my dad woke up. Okay, so but from that time, this is what her paradigm has been. You began to serve. Right. Oh wow. yeah. And it's it is her way. You've said this. This is your way of serving the Lord. Right. But she began to. She had to help pick up the slack around the house. Yeah. You had to cook and clean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when you got in from school, you had to just. I mean, get your take your your from your work your school clothes to your work clothes, wow. and do what needed to be Did done. Did you like that? Did you like? Oh, uh, it was not real tough. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like my sister. Not then. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? From that day forward, again, she began to serve, mm -hmm. and she continually gives to the poor to yes, this day, and she yes. helps where there's a need. She's a step ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, Proverbs 19 and 17 says, Every time you give to the poor, you make a loan to the Lord. Don't worry. You'll be repaid in full for all the good you've done. Have oh, you ever wow. thought about that? Yes. I haven't thought about it like that, no. <laughs> no, that when you give to the poor, it's like lending unto the Lord, mm -hmm. and he said, I'll surely pay. <laughs> wow. But you've grabbed a hold. You've gotten a passion with this. You're going to hear some background noise. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, we've got a lot of teenagers here, <laughs> and they're in it. They're in it now. They're on a mission, too. Um, Jasmine, have, have you seen this happen? Oh, gosh, yeah. You see, Kathy, she might be hurting and pain herself, limping around, and you still see her carrying this giant box with her apples, bananas, I mean, <laughs> chips, all the food that she brings to us at the church, but it does not matter. She pushes through and does it for us to serve. How, and really, how can you serve in pain? You just do it. It's just it's to serve the Lord, and you just, you know, buck up, and, and uh, afterwards, you kind of fall apart but <laughs> I'd go to bed when I get home but, but your yeah. passion and this is what can happen when you get a hold of this the power of serving mm -hmm. um, we look beyond we're the most fulfilled when we're serving yes. a cause right. right greater than ourselves greater than mm -hmm. ourselves so her passion trumps her pain yes and her you know because she well for one you've watched your your mom and dad like your whole, whole life, life. serve. Example, my father yes. was a volunteer fireman my mother was in charge of uh, well, we had fire phones then, and they were in our, my home, a couple other friends' home. Uh -huh. And when fire they phones? Rang, yes, right, they rang this phone number, and it went to these homes. And then my mother and the other women had lists of people to call, and then they would go to the fire. Oh, wow. my goodness. So we, could, we couldn't all go somewhere at the same time because somebody had to stay home with the right. fire Isn't phone. that fire something? Phone. They were committed. Yes. They were committed to serve yes. one another. Mm -hmm. um, now, Kathy, you had a tragedy happen in your life. Your yes. son was mm -hmm. killed. About 25 years ago, he was he was 26. He was killed um, going to a, a, a gathering with his friends. And we were at the funeral. And mm -hmm. uh, I was doing what I always do. She was serving. <laughs> wow. She was serving at her, fun her, her son's funeral, wow. guys, and making sure that her... That his friends had everything yeah, they needed. Yeah. Oh doesn't goodness. mean she wasn't going through pain. Oh, and even yeah. afterwards, it's like, in a sense, she put it on hold mm -hmm. and processed yeah. it even years later. And to this day, you, I mean, you, you have the day, you, you have those precious memories. But you know what? This is what her son, this is what the friends said. They, the, his friends told you that he was always serving his friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that her, that her son how, that, that was killed. I, I, now I see where you, you got it because I was taking care of him. I said, got what? And he says, he's always taking care of people. He oh. would take care of the homeless. He would take care of wow. uh, 
young people. He would like mentor the young people. And mm. uh, it is something. That. Philippians two and four says, "Let each of you look not only to his own interests, but also to the interests of others." Jasmine, explain mm. that today. Uh, that's it's not about you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not about me, any of like us. It's you gotta look and see where someone else needs the help. What you can do to serve them, because it's not all about us and how I can fulfill my own need, but how can I serve somebody else and do something for them? That's right. And, you know, I think it's amazing how that uh, when God puts that in you, mm -hmm. I mean, you can't wait to do it. Yes. Yeah. You have the, like you do the passion. You just you want to. And like you said, it's the most fulfilling thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Kathy, would you say you live to give? Mm. Yes. I, I would mean, say that. that, that yeah. That's what my my purpose in life is, is to mm -hmm. to take care of people and to um, make sure that their lives are easier or. Mm. like a little surprise for them once in a while or something like that you know isn't that something Just, she's yes. always a step ahead <laughs> if, if someone comes uh can i help you this i already got it done yeah like, uh, she's a step oh, ahead yes. she's already got it she's already got it taken care of and you know i was thinking of a, a scripture it's isaiah 58 and you know the the men there's people in the bible that uh, would fast and then they would make their face long mm. Jasmine yes. they would, and they'd be like and they want you to know right, they're fasting they're, yeah, yeah they want to let everybody know what's going on yeah that's right <laughs> look what I'm doing for God <laughs> just, just look but you've never craved that no. have you no. and she's never you would never know any she never acts like that at all <laughs> that's right and so what but this is what God said you want to know the fast that I've chosen for you mm. is that you loose the bands of wickedness that you let the oppressed go free that you give mm. that you bring the poor into your household that you give to yes. to the hungry and he said when you do this you know what's going to happen what happens to your health that it's it gets better it's added to you yeah it, it springs <laughs> forth speedily and he yes. said look you're this is my heart you're doing his heart and when mm. he says you know be one of you know it's a gift and yes. he, he's saying do it with hospitality um, and he says, without grudging, in other words, murmuring, murmuring and complaining. It's not yes. like, oh man, I got to do this again right. today and nobody's helping me. Kathy, I'm sure there's been times you could have mm. used that helping hand. And have you pushed that aside? You know, yeah. like when you're all yeah. by yourself, but you have found that time with God, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Yes, I have. It's like, uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of like, oh, I need some help. And I do but then I, I get the little extra energy because yes. the Lord's telling me, let's, let's go. Come on. You, you can do this. this. You yeah. don't, yeah, you got this. You can't, wow. you don't have to depend on, on anybody else to help you, but I will get in it. And then usually someone will walk in and say, you need some help. And then just I've got in time. Yeah. Wow. Just in so. time. So it sums up to me what we're talking about today, a step ahead. Mm -hmm. I want to be that, yes. you know, because if we're a step ahead, we're actually hearing from him first before somebody else, you know, saying Absolutely. it's like yes. we're listening. And yes. so we're taking that step, you know, it just immediately when he says to do it, we're not even pondering it. You do it immediately because you know mm -hmm. that voice, right? Right. And it's, it's just his heart. Um, first Peter four and 10 says every believer has received grace gifts. So use them to serve one another as faithful stewards of the many colored tapestry of God's grace. Think about that. Wow. It's one of his gifts and it is a gift. Mm -hmm. It's a gift to right. give, right? Right. The giving and hospitality. And you know, she's happy because of it. And you, yes. look, if she's not serving, you're probably fidgety. <laughs> oh and, yeah. Yes. I gotta have something <laughs> to do. You know? He's got to. And I, I recently quit work and I'm like, I've got to have something to do. Because today is her birthday, and how old yes. are you, Kathy? She don't look I'm it. I'm 69 years no, old. No, say, say it, look, say it with, with a, I mean, yeah, not a red I badge of courage. 69 <laughs> years old. 69 wow. years old and looks fabulous. Yes. And we're so very thankful Thank for you. you, Kathy. We you. all love you so yes. much. Yes. Look, so remember, you know, what can we gain from this, uh, Kathy? What What is your words to them of the fulfillment that God has placed in you of serving? Um. You know, if, if you're called to serve, follow that call because you've got to take take it. If if you don't, if you keep ignoring it, then the Lord's going to say, "Okay, you know, this is right. somebody else. Somebody, right. somebody, somebody else, and they'll be blessed with it." Mm -hmm. and That's right. You get very blessed taking care, doing the job like that. I'm yes. with the kids and and feeding them. You know, that was that was my choice. I said, "Okay, you know." They asked me, you want to go and feed the kids? Okay. Yeah. It was all there was to it. You want to get know. to the heart? Get to the what? Oh, stomach. Get to the stomach. Is that right, Jasmine? <laughs> exactly right. Kathy, would you give us some prayer today? Okay. 
Heavenly Father, bless us all and bless this trip that we are on. Yes. Uh, let the children, the kids see what their efforts are doing. Yes. Their, their ways so, of serving the Lord. Uh, but let them enjoy themselves too. Mm -hmm. But this is just, uh, let people learn to give more. Amen. There's usually a, a thing, Lord, and you know what it is, it's 80-20. There's 80% 80 of people don't do a thing, but 20% are always doing everything. Let the people learn that you, they've got to serve you that way too, and it's a joy to serve them. Yes. Like Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. Look, you really are making a difference. Yes. <laughs> Keep serving and enjoying living in the well, the joy of the Lord, mm -hmm. and it is our strength. He's given you strength. Right. We're just believing that for you this oh, week. Yes. Amen. Yes. We love you, and have a great rest of your day. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.